Hello, this is Sophie from Native Instruments. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map multi-velocity samples to single pads using Machina Studio. This is a useful feature for producers, sound designers, and especially performing musicians, as it allows you to trigger different or multiple samples with a single pad. This video focuses on showing you how to use this feature specifically in keyboard mode, which allows you to play the samples in a melodic way. There'll be another video on the same topic specifically for finger drummers, which focuses more on how to do the same in pad mode. To map multi-velocity samples to the pads, first choose the sampling mode of Machina. Then choose Zone and load your first sample by clicking Add. In our example, we're going to load three different acoustic guitar samples. Here we're scrolling down using Knob 8, choosing Acoustic Guitar 1A1 and clicking Load. Now we'll browse to the fifth menu screen by clicking the right arrow four times. This is the screen that lets you load samples to different zones with varying key and velocity ranges. Set the first acoustic guitar sample's key range with the first two knobs. If you're playing the notes in pad mode, all you need to do is make sure that C3, which is indicative of the first pad, is included within the key range. In this video, we're demonstrating this using keyboard mode, so we're setting the key range from C3 to B3. Next, with knobs 3 and 4, set the desired velocity. Here we're setting the velocity from 0 to 82. Now, click Add to load a second sample. Here we're choosing Acoustic Guitar 1, A2 and clicking Load. Again, we're setting the key range from C3 to B3. This time we're setting the velocity from 83 to 127. Finally, we're clicking Add and loading the third sample, Acoustic Guitar 1, A3. We're setting the same key range. And this time setting the velocity from 115 to 127. Please note that when using Machina this way, the amplitude envelope type affects how the sample's amplitude will change over time. You can adjust this setting in the software by choosing pitch envelope and clicking Type. When set to ADSR, you have full control over how long you want the samples to be played. When set to one shot, the samples always play until their end after being triggered. In this case, we recommend setting it to ADSR. Next, switch to keyboard mode by holding down Shift and pressing Pad mode. As we set the key range of all three samples from C3 to B3, which is an octave consisting of 12 semitones, we can only trigger the samples with the first 12 pads. Now you can play the pads with varying force to hear how they sound. When hitting the pad with a velocity of 82 or below, we only hear the first sample. When hitting the pad with a velocity between 83 and 115, we only hear the second sample. When hitting the pad with a velocity of 115 or above, we simultaneously hear the second sample and the third sample. Remember that the values we set are just examples. Feel free to find the right velocities for your playing. From the Preferences menu Hardware tab, you're able to control the sensitivity of the Machina controller pads. Below the sensitivity setting, you can also choose a different value for velocity scaling. 
By choosing soft, a soft touch is enough to get a big velocity value. When set to hard, you have to play more forcefully to get a big velocity value. Play around with these settings and find the right sensitivity and velocity scaling setting for your use. Please note that if you want to replace samples without changing previously defined zone settings, you'll need to do this in the software using your mouse. You can check the manual for a more detailed explanation of all sample editing capabilities in Machina. Feel free to load your own samples and experiment with different velocity ranges to get the most out of this useful feature.